Did you know there is a limit to the number of video uploads and live stream notifications a viewer can receive from a single channel in a 24 hour period? Have a guess at what it is in the comments below and I'll let you know at the end of the video. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. When you are logged into YouTube, you should see your channel logo in the top right hand corner of most YouTube screens. If you click on that, you have the option to go to YouTube Studio. This is currently in beta, but will become the standard as 2019 progresses. This is the dashboard of the new studio, and from here you can access all parts of your channel. Today we are going to go to videos. Now, obviously with notifications, you can only make changes to videos that are currently private or unlisted because the notifications already been sent out for public videos. So for a private or unlisted video, click on it. This will show you the video details and from here you want to go to advanced. Scroll down to the bottom of this screen and you'll see the following option, publish to the subscription feed and allow notifications to subscribers. To clarify what that means, your subscribers will see this video in their subscription feed and will receive notifications if eligible. This is always defaulted on as you would expect, so if you want to stop this from happening when the video goes public, untick this box and save the change. I know you've got a burning question you want to ask. What's the difference between a unlisted video and a public video that doesn't send out notifications? Good question. Unlisted videos are those that are only designed to be found through a shared link. They don't appear in search results and they don't appear on your channel page either. Public videos, on the other hand, are totally transparent and visible. They can be found through search and appear on your channel. Some rare reasons why you might need to do this is for your channel trailer. You want it to be discoverable on YouTube, but you don't want to notify your subscribers because it's not required. You might have some sort of Easter egg or secret game you're playing with your audience, which they need to find but obviously you don't want to notify them that the video exists. If you can think of other, any more novel ideas why you wouldn't want to notify your subscribers about new content, do let us know in the comments below. And now let's go back to that question. What is the maximum number of notifications a viewer will see from a single channel in 24 hours? The answer is three. So if you intend to upload multiple videos, maybe five or 10 a day for whatever reason, and you only want to make sure that the most important videos reach your audience, then you can use that checkbox to untick the ones which you don't think are as valuable. Very specific user case, but I'm sure there's somebody out there who will find this useful. In the meantime, if you want to take your YouTube channel to the next level, then make sure to download vidIQ. It will help you research YouTube, analyze videos, audit your own channel and take actionable steps. There is a link in the video description. Make sure to check out our YouTube beginner's guide playlist over here and more awesome content. We'll see you on those videos. Enjoy the rest of your video making day.